Hi everybody, it's Michelle Denman. Well, I wrote these words out from Tim Sheets about the cake. I will share that in a second, but I did hear from the Lord and he said, please go encourage my people. And I, I felt him say, be of good cheer, that he really wanted to bring some encouragement. This is not easy. Nobody's saying that this is all a, a cakewalk. That's a, that's a funny thing to say, isn't it? <laughs> cakewalk this is not easy um you know contending for his promises you know believing god we're not saying it's easy and he said please go encourage my people because he, you know it's not by might nor by power but by his spirit but i heard him say to just you know bring some hope some light from him and he wanted me to say to you directly you matter you are significant to God, you are important, and you're not alone. He said, encourage them to let them know that I see them. He wants you directly to know he sees you. And, you know, we look at the world and there's such a battle for significance and influence. And we look at the celebrities and, you know, fame and all these fleeting things that you know, heaven and earth are going to pass away, but his words will never pass away. And I don't believe God is measuring people or even ministries by the size of audience or the number of likes. I don't think God looks at that at all. I think he looks at the heart and he measures things in a very different way. The kingdom is upside down. It's completely opposite of the world. So we sometimes think, well, these people must be blessed because they have a million likes or these people must be from God because they are they have a big audience but God doesn't really measure things like that so he just wants us to have discernment in this hour really be wise as a serpent harmless as a dove God's kingdom is upside down his ways are different and he's not necessarily um you know looking at people by their how many likes they get and and that's why he said to me to say to you that you, you know, he leaves the 99 for the one. And you may be out there just struggling to pay your rent. You may be just out there like, can I even get up this morning? <laughs> you matter. And that little faith, you know, even if you're just having that little, <laughs> that little ounce of faith. It's like I'm gonna buy a piece of cake. <laughs> How pure and how simple, how beautiful is God. A simple act of faith, a pure heart. You know, when the disciples said, who's the greatest God? And he said, this child, you must be like a child. He said, you must be as a child. And I just want to encourage you because it's his will today that you're encouraged and seen for what you're going through. It's real to him. It's real to him. And I believe he's asking us to look up, to look higher, you know, to look at him, to believe him over the noise, to trust him over the fear. And that he does have a plan and it is good. His eye is on the sparrow. His eyes on the sparrow, and he often measures things so different. And I believe that he's asking us, you know, to look at at that at that royal carpet in heaven. You know, we look and we we may we may envy people down here on the carpet, and but we have there's a greater red carpet in heaven. The heirs of Christ, known in heaven, he's rolling that out for his heirs, for his royalty. Our ways are higher than this world because it's in God. So he has a way that isn't measured here. But he is really, you know, this is our true inheritance as saints, the true royalty, not the false one, the true royalty. And I want to encourage you in that, in the spirit and power of Elijah, because there are greater things coming. And it is real and it is exciting. 
and but he wanted to just give encouragement through the time that we're in i do see a rainbow in the spirit as i'm cheering with you that his hope and promise his covenant with us and the neat thing like our brother tim sheets and then the wonderful father in the faith as well dutch sheets he shared something that I was so excited about because it's what God has been saying and again confirmed how wonderful. I wrote down these words from Dutch Sheets, a father in the faith. He just wrote this. Listen to this. You're going to love it. Dreaming ignites creativity. Dreams are pregnant with hope. If you dream, you will create. God's plan is not to spin on the roulette wheel of life hoping we bounce at the right place and get some kind of success. Sorry, I have to, I have to use this with one hand. I'm turning with one hand. The power to create begins with the ability to dream. Isaiah 46.10 Dream, create, innovate. And innovation like him, we dream, then we create. Dreaming unlocked. Dreaming unlocks creativity and innovation and originality. If you don't dream, you won't create. But if you do dream, you will create. You must. You must cre be creative. The mother of inventions are dreams. I mean, I'm sorry. Then, I'm sorry, I'll say that again. I got excited there. Necessity isn't the mother of inventions. Uh, inventions, Dreams are. Dream, God dreams. And here's his decree that he gave to the church. We decree the church will, re will release the imaginative and creative power of God into their lives and realms of influence, partnering with him to change their world. Hallelujah. So there's the decree, dreaming with God. And how beautiful to have that from a father, an apostle of the faith, you know, and God has been speaking that. So the reason God wanted me to tie this together and share this with you today is this. So you may feel your dream is small. You may feel, is it real? You may be wondering, but here Dutch is confirming. You can't create if you don't dream. You know, I was thinking about this last night when God was speaking about Martin Luther King Jr. And his what, what did, were his first words in that great speech? I have a dream. I have a dream. So I think he's inviting us to dream. You know, for the children. Make it a better world for you and for me and the entire human, the entire human race. Dreaming with God. Saving the children. Dreaming a better world for them. Getting our hopes up. And the creatives are going to arise, the minstrels, the prophetic um, singers, the musical prophets, the poets, the uh, worship leaders, the singers, the artists, the creatives. It's time, guys. It's time. I believe it's for January 2023 that it's really going to take off. But he always is going to tell us in advance, you know, but he wants he's just saying because it's a heart thing he's doing right now. He wants to get us ready. So. We want to dream with God of a better world. The world he originally created, his original t intent, which was heaven on earth. Heaven on earth. His original intent. So believe and know he wanted to give that encouragement to you today that you are not alone, that you matter. And even if you have a tiny little seed like a mustard seed, a tiny little bit of faith, and you're thinking, is it real? Could I, could I have a better life? Could I glorify God in my life could I have this this dream you know is it real believe God believe God for the impossible right now believe that all impossibilities are going to come down believe God for the impossible in your life right now I want to give you that encouragement and if you feel led you know as this wonderful word by Tim Sheets as a prophetic act go get a piece of cake I'm partaking of your promise, God. My cake is in the oven, and I believe sweet times are coming to me, that you bake for me, that you planned for me. Amen. Prophetic word by Tim Sheets from Sunday, October 16th. Love that. And you know why I thought this was so neat? It's because I had already done that. That was what kind of blew my mind, because I thought, I'm driving around. It was a couple weeks ago, and I'm, 
I'm driving and I heard the Lord say, go get a cake. And I kind of thought, what? <laughs> really? I don't eat cake. <laughs> but, I, and I even went, really? And I did. I went and I got that cake. And it was really good. <laughs> so, <laughs> do as God leads you. I wanted to give you that encouragement today. God sees you. God hears you. You matter. I love you. God loves you. <laughs> okay. Have a blessed day. Eat cake. Have a great day. God bless you this day. Amen.